Hi guys, it's Diane here. I am going to be doing a furniture makeover today. So this is my daughter's uh, dresser currently. I bought her a few months ago, wanting to do the makeover before putting it in her room, but you know, things happen and I am now just getting to it. So, um, let's get started. Let me show you the dresser first. All right, guys, this is the first drawer of the dresser. And as you can see, it has these really cool dividers in there. And you are actually able to move them around with by putting them into those little grooves that you see, which is really cool because you keep your stuff organized. So for my daughter, we're actually using it for her undies and her socks. So it keeps it pretty organized. For the second drawer here, you have also one divider. It only has that one, but it's actually pretty useful as it keeps my daughter's clothes organized. And yeah, the second, third, and fourth drawer are all the same. So it's actually pretty neat that this dresser came with built-in dividers. And this is the outside of the dresser. It's pretty well loved, I would say. It has the white paint that's chipping off. So we will be obviously painting that. All right, so here is a little piece that is coming off, but we are obviously going to fix that as well. So I'm going to be using this sander and it turns out that I don't have any sanding paper in this shape but I did find one of these um, and because I need an 80 grit sandpaper I'm just going to slap it on here and use it. Um, yeah, we'll just use it like this, you know, get it started. Alright guys, so I just wanted to show you here what I used. I used a wood filler, some wood glue, and a sanding block. Alright you guys, so for this area I added the wood filler. And I still haven't sanded it down so it's still a little rough. But I just wanted to show you that I added wood filler for that area, that area, and this area. But for this area I actually added wood glue before the wood filler to glue down that little piece that was flapping around and so I did that and then I added the wood filler and that is what I did and all I need to do next is just sand it down make sure it's nice and smooth before I start painting so here I am sanding it down and it doesn't take much to sand you have to be careful not to over sand just because you know you don't want to take off all of the wood filler you just put. Here I am going to sand just the last four drawers and I will be done with the sanding. Yay! All right, so here I'm just showing you how it looks after it has been sanded down. Hi 
Hi guys, this is the type of paint and color I am using. So what I'm doing is I am going to use this little roller and see how it goes. I do have some paint brushes, but I wanted to try this little roller first. So I'm gonna take the excess paint off and then we're gonna start rolling. What I'm going to be doing here is using my paintbrush. It is a one inch angled brush and I will be using this little piece of cardboard it came in as a border that way I don't get any dirt particles onto my dresser. Okay, so the first coat is done on this. It's kind of white still, but it's pink. Now, you see these are brighter white. And that one's pink. Wait for that to dry and then do a second coat. Alright guys, so I wasn't able to finish the job yesterday, the painting, I had some things I had to do, so I am going to be doing the second coat today. So I have my paint ready to go, um, here it is, I got my brushes, and I'm going to start painting the second coat. second coat is done so check this out this is the area that was remember it was chipped and there was a little piece of wood falling off and look like nothing happened you can't even tell so this is what it looks like all painted and it's all done and yeah look at that here are the drawers Pretty nice, huh? All right, guys, so I almost forgot a little part of this dresser. Um, I almost forgot to paint it. So let me show you how to do this part. Okay, so before I finish and I put the poly on it. I think it's going to need another coat on top. I'm not sure if you could tell. I mean, it's not dry yet, but you can already see that it might need another coat. You see that? It's a little patchy. So I did the first coat of poly off camera but here I am going to show you the poly that I used it is water-based and I did that because my paint is water-based so I just thought it would be a good idea to just stick to water-based so um, I am going to be sanding after you do your first coat of poly you need to sand that way 
it's not sticky and it's not grainy so here i'm showing you that the sandpaper i'm using is a three paper th sorry 320 a grit sandpaper and what i'm going to do is just use my sand block my sander block to wrap it around that way i have something to grip on All right, you guys, I just wanted to let you know not to forget to wipe off the dust after you sand down your furniture. So just what I did was grab a wet rag and I, you know, wiped all the dust off and then I grabbed a dry rag and that's it. Just to dry it off after. All right, you guys, here I am applying the last coat of poly. Yay, almost finished. So here is the dresser. It has been fully painted and now it's ready for some new handles. After installing the new handles, this is the finished product. Look how nice. Thanks for watching.